Elon Musk is at it again, and this time he's going even bigger. Despite struggling to fulfill orders for its Model 3, Tesla is unveiling a new type of electric vehicle, a semi-truck. Tesla's chief executive hyping the twice-delayed debut earlier this week, warning that minds will be blown. But in true Tesla fashion, details of the Tesla Semi, or the beast as Musk has called it, are limited. Well, we don't know much at all. I mean, I think we can anticipate a few things. One, there's, an, uh, I think, a, a real opportunity for aerodynamics. Uh, so there's an opportunity for them to, to change some of the, the, the design around how uh, these vehicles uh, kind of move through the air and, and move over the, the, the road. I, mean, I, I think the, the second thing that we're looking at is uh, cab comfort, uh, something that is a, a really important issue for operators is the, you know, the, the environment that they're, they're operating in. The third piece is some leverage around the autonomy work that uh, Tesla is doing, the ability to uh, make it easier to drive these vehicles on the road. I think that we're expecting some simplification around transmission. Uh, you know, as you move towards a, an EV um, drivetrain, uh, you, you can eliminate a lot of the, the, the basic transmission uh, functionality given where, uh, given where the motors are. And then I think the last thing is, is just really um, basic fuel savings. Uh, you know, there's a tremendous amount of use of these vehicles on an ongoing basis, and so the ability to lower fuel costs is, is the main driver on operating savings on the vehicles. The trucking industry helps fuel the U.S. economy. Over 70 percent of all the freight tonnage moved in the U.S. goes on trucks, and it's growing. The American Trucking Association projects freight volumes to rise 2.8% in 2017 and then 3.4% annual growth through 2023. Musk has teased the prospect of a battery-powered, heavy-duty vehicle with self-driving capabilities that can compete with conventional diesels, which can travel up to 1,000 miles on a single tank of fuel. Tesla's big rig will reportedly have a range of about two to 300 miles with an average payload before needing to be recharged. Analysts say the key, though, is how big those batteries are and how quickly they'll recharge. The key component to kind of circle up and, and connect the whole ecosystem and to make it truly something that is viable is going to be the fast charging technology. So the version three fast chargers are supposed to actually charge the new batteries uh, almost at the same speed probably at the same speed as um, how long it takes to actually um, fill up a diesel truck. So you're able to actually uh, utilize the same habit formations. Um, and so the truck drivers don't have to learn something new. And that itself is always the best way to enter the market. The race is on because Tesla isn't the only player in the electric truck space. Daimler, the largest truck manufacturer in the world by sales, has already delivered the first of a smaller range of electric delivery trucks to customers in New York. Volkswagen is developing an urban electric truck with production due to begin in 2020. Meanwhile, late this summer, Cummins unveiled a prototype electric truck. And Toyota is testing its Project Portal hydrogen semi-truck in California. Competition isn't the only obstacle Tesla is facing, though. The car maker reported its biggest quarterly loss ever in its latest earnings report. And Musk has called the ramp up of its Model 3 sedan production hell. That bottleneck actually caused Tesla to delay the semi truck debut last month. However, some analysts say the Tesla semi could be a good distraction for the company. I think for the company, it's going to remove the pressure uh, that Model 3 and the delay of Model 3 is currently putting on the stock. Um, as far as I understand, Elon is basically sitting at the Giga factory and, 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 and trying to make sure to, to make this actually happen. So removing the pressure will give, uh, give also some breathing room to the stock and people are going to calculate uh, the economics around what he's actually delivering into the market. If he delivers a breakthrough technology, a breakthrough truck, semi-truck that actually changes the margin as an operator, you know, people very quickly can calculate the numbers of what this actually will do. There is no need to keep an eye out for the Tesla Semi on the roads just yet, as it could be quite some time before they hit the streets. At the shareholder meeting back in September, Musk said the company would most likely reach full-scale production in 18 months to two years. For CCTV, I'm Reuters reporter Caroline Woods.